Hey guys, Real Touch GML here, and today we will be going over views in the room. So views are basically if you go in your room here and you go to the views tab, views basically follow your character. They can be done. They can be used for a lot of things, as like split screens, basic mini maps, um, things like that. Views are typically used in a bigger room. So if we go ahead and create a room real quick and we go to settings and we make the width say like 2000 by 2000. This is a pretty big room. And if we go ahead and we just put our object in there and we and we play it you can see this covers up the whole screen and does not look good at all so what we're going to need to do is if if you watch my last tutorials you'll know that we use a cam to follow our player but if but if you don't use a cam to follow your player you can just type this in so right off the bat in the views tab enable the use of views visible when room starts and you'll see this box go around now this is what the view is at. So the view in room right here, you can see, you can change. So like 300, you see the box changes. I'm just gonna do 640 by 480. Um, have the port on screen the same as the view in room. Now object following. What I'm gonna do is OBJ cam. OBJ cam is necessary if you have more than one player. So if you can, if you have a character select screen, and you have three players that you can select, like we have here, you're gonna want to make an OBJ cam. And go ahead, and there will be a link on the screen right now for the character select screen tutorial. And there, I'll show you how to do uh, do the cam. So. OBJ cam and the H bore and V bore just uh, do half of what it is it's usually good and half means like if you set these to one uh, he'll have to go all the way up to here so your guy would have to walk all the way up to the end of the view of the room and then it would start moving on but if you use about half he will just keep going so let me show you I'll just put these both to one and I'm going to put this in the room just to show you that we are moving around okay so if we start up the game here you'll see that it is now different and now is a 640 by 480 view but now we have to go all the way to the right of the screen in order to even move. Um, which is not very good at all. Other thing. So, in order to fix this, what we do is we go to views and we do it, like I said, half of what the view in the room is. So now if we try it out, you see it now moves about in the middle of where your player is. Uh, so yeah, that was my tutorial for today. Be sure to um, subscribe if you want, like, favor the video. Um, for more tutorials go ahead and comment down if you have any recommendations and yeah till next time see ya